overall, Connected Inc. 2022 was a little bit of a letdown. Almost nobody was there. Vendors seemed to have completely dropped out at the last minute. However, there was one booth that caught our eye, Pilot. Pilot is a Japanese pen manufacturer founded in 1909. They make everything from ballpoint pens to fountain pens, highlighters, and even sticky notes. But that's not why we're here. We're here because of this, the Dr. Grip Digital. It's finally being released. Last year in 2021, it was in its concept stage, and it wasn't readily available to the public yet. But now, after a year of additional R&D, that's research and development, the device is being scheduled for release. Now let's take a look at the pen itself. Nicely weighted in a familiar plastic chassis, but they're promoting the grip. The grip is super high quality and even has a decent pile to it, so it's not too cumbersome, but it allows you to grab hold of it with extreme comfortability for accurate writing. Of course, this pen is enabled with Wacom. They're even using an all new tip that is not the same as the standard tip that is kind of bulbousy at the end. This one is more akin to the Stadler Mitsubishi kind of pen tips, but they have an interesting spin on it. It's less flexible and has greater overall tip length than the standard tips. What's more is that this is the first commercially available pen to retract into its own body. Yes, the tactile click at the back is not just for fun. This allows you to retract the Wacom tip and push it out whenever you need to use the pen. This new feature is not new to the world of pens, of course, but is absolutely revolutionary to the world of Wacom styluses. The entire pen is made in Japan and by a company that has been around for over a century. More information will be down below. As for the rest of the event, to be honest, there wasn't that much going on, which was kind of disappointing. Samsung, of course, was the busiest booth with all their flipping doodads and folding phones. Fujitsu was there showing not the third generation of Quaderno, but the already released one. Even Casio was there with a calculator thing. And in terms of the actual booths, it was pretty much it. We've gone to Connected Inc. 2021 and 2022. From what I can see, Wacom is by no means slowing down. But I guess the impact of the world and tourism still has a way to go before it fully recovers. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.